thank you again. <laughs> I'd like to share uh, some words from Arnie Duncan, and uh, then if you'll allow me to make just a few reflections um, on this award and on this evening. Uh, I want to thank the Ruby Forum for honoring me with this award. I'm humbled because we still have a long way to go, ensuring that our schools are not only safe, but also centers of peace is a very high priority for me personally and for the Department of Education. The most recent report on safety in our schools reported that for the first time since students have been asked, they feel safer at home than they do at school. The Rumi Foundation is an important partner in our shared work of creating a safe environment by promoting interfaith dialogue where we can all come to better, understand, better understanding of each other. Only when there's mutual respect will we have safe and peaceful schools. I'm sorry that I can't be present with you. I thank Ken Bedell from the Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnership Center for accepting this award for me and for the whole Department of Education. Arnie Duncan, Secretary of Education. At the Department of Education, we don't deal with the really big issues of world peace. We deal with the really big issues of making our schools a place that American children are not only safe, but learn to grow in academically, learn to grow and live with each other. This um, idea of peace and what it means in schools Fatula Gulen puts it extremely well when he said, in schools, good manners should be considered just as important as other subjects. If they are not, how can children grow up with sound character? Education is different from teaching. That's what we believe with the Department of Education. Good manners are different from teaching. There are a number of ways that this is being pursued at the, at the moment. Today, today, right today, this afternoon, Ross and Ali was on the telephone with a, people across the country announcing that there is new guidance being distributed to every school that explains the department's understanding and what enforcement will be made of bullying in schools. What is really important about this announcement is not that it really makes new law. Uh, Rosinali is the head of the Civil Rights Section of the Department of Education. What's really important is that she explains, and the guidance explains, that it isn't enough that perpetrators of violence in school or bullying are punished. It's only sufficient when the student who was bullied feels safe in school and that the action that's required by adults and by school leaders is not just to punish those who bully, but to change the environment in the school and so that all children experience a safe environment. That's just one example of areas where the department is working to develop a way that we can better understand how our schools are part of dialogue and in the end, peace. The White House has initiated a program to encourage universities and colleges to develop interfaith community service projects. The Office of <coughs> Safe and Drug-Free Schools is developing a database of curriculum materials that can be used by schools to foster understanding across all lines that separate us. Each person comes to a conviction about why it is important for them to be in dialogue or to participate in, in peacemaking. But at the Department of Education, we understand that unless the schools are a place that model and are examples of where students can experience true dialogue, that we will never have peace. Thank you very much.